this is all noise, okay? Signal is three things and three very simple things. We are dedicated to take down the illegitimate Biden regime and stop it in its tracks every day of the week. And we're doing a pretty good job. Number two is this November to have a huge, massive turnout and to destroy the Democratic Party as a national political institution root and branch from the Rio Grande Valley all the way up to Royce White running against Omar in Minnesota. A populist nationalist uprising at the polls to take down the Democratic Party. And number three, this, this brutal war that's going on in Ukraine, they're reaching a peace deal right now. The Chinese Communist Party is the winner here. We've got to take down the CCP. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Bertuto Jet here. And Steve Bannon is a plague, a miserable human being from start to finish. Does any word come out of his perennial loser's mouth that is it negative, whining, complaining, hissy fit over something because it doesn't go exactly his way? And with Bannon, his way is the only way. He's a con. That's his game. Remember, his life's work is swindling people and playing up the victim. His life is spent in courtrooms dodging one Ponzi scheme after another. Right now, he's in between court cases, so he's got a little time to go back to his mindless podcasting. In fact, literally, he made these comments heading to a D.C. court for his contempt in Congress in the January 6th investigation. He says he's working every day of the week to take down the illegitimate Biden presidency, and he self-proclaimed that he thinks he's doing a pretty good job of it. The reason that Putin ain't woke, he is anti-woke. The Russians, people still know which bathroom to use. They know how many, how many genders are there in Russia? Two. Okay. That's all of a sudden, that's, that's, that's not, that's not, they don't have the flags. They don't have the pride flags outside on their, on their. They don't have boys swimming in girls' uh, college swim meets. How backward. It's, it's how, embarrassing. How, how savage. How medieval. How, how medieval. This is why this whole thing's a scam. It's a total and complete scam. Really, Steve? I don't see much progress on that front. Oh, yeah, all his insurrectionist candidates are losing their primaries. But facts don't matter to Bannon. He's never had facts on his side before. He banks on perception beating reality. He knows there are vulnerable suckers out there who will bow down before him because when dealing with stupid people, emotions win arguments, not common sense. The same people that look at his definition of an illegitimate Biden presidency how do they see that? On what grounds are Bannon and his loyalists predicating that claim? Because I'll tell you what it's not by the courts. Every lawsuit, and there were ridiculous numbers of tax dollars spent on them, was tossed out and laughed out of court. It's not logic. The same variables played in this election as any other. It's not common sense. Independent experts concluded that this was the most secure election in modern history. It's not American democracy, despite the bloody hostile coup attempt. The people and our electors represented faithfully. It's because Steve Bannon said so. I can't believe they gave him that much power. Maybe they shouldn't breathe if Steve Bannon says so. But I better be careful. People are so dumb they were injecting bleach and, of course, crawling all over our nation's capital like the subhumans they are because their shining fascist lord said so. You've got some deeply rooted mental issues if Steve Bannon's arguments resonate in your feeble mind, and that's a fact. Folks, that's why Bannon and Trump are a marriage. The financial con and the media con go hand in hand into the sunset. And if it wasn't for the veneer of politics, it would be hand in hand to the federal penitentiary in a heartbeat. But for the sake of democracy, that is what is needed. We've seen the work of these abusers, and to let these clueless arguments be put on par with fact is not only an insult to intelligence, but a festering wound in democracy. How do you think these dictatorships like Russia keep an iron grip on their people? Well, the mindless, soulless state TV propaganda machine certainly doesn't hurt them any. That's Bannon's ploy. If you speak a lie long enough, it becomes fact. And when you're a moron who cannot see fact from fiction because you're a slave to your own hostilities, then people like Bannon have you carrot and stick going anywhere they want to take you. And that place surely is in America, the land of the free and the home of democracy. It's submission to their will. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.